Kia ora fellas, Agent 6, Ditch the Gym New Zealand. Now you all know not to be skipping leg day, but some of us, <laughs> some of you guys, you're skipping neck day. Neck day. Is that a thing? Why? Yeah, your neck, it's like, connects your brain to the rest of your body. You know that one. Yeah. Neck day is what increases your chances of being able to walk away from a traffic accident. Neck day helps you take a punch. And when the insecure dork at the bar who's watched too many episodes of The Ultimate Fighter decides that he's going to try and choke you out, Neck Day lets him know he's got the wrong mother... You know, a man of science might say that it's importanter than your biceps. With over 20 muscles in your neck, strengthening your neck is a great idea. And here's how you go about it the right way. For the most part, your neck is a delicate thing. Kinds of small but complex components that we never really think about. You can get these things tremendously strong, but you've got to take a slow, measured approach. And for the most part, all this dominatrix equipment that you see at the gym is totally unnecessary. <laughs> take a couple days rest in between each phase. Remember guys, this is a slow process. Phase one, take a pillow or a big beach towel fold it in half, and crush it. You can do an isometric crush for seven seconds. We like to do about four sets of those. Or you can actually do repetitions where you're crushing the pillow for reps just like you would be lifting a weight. Again, about four sets of seven reps. The first two weeks, you're going to do this once every three days. The following two weeks, you're going to do this once every other day. The next couple weeks, we're going to focus more on the articulation of our neck with a higher rep scheme. You're going to hang your head off of something, say over the end of your bed or off a step of some sort, and you're going to move your neck in different directions, concentrating on the slowness and accuracy of the movements. And you're going to do that for about 20 repetitions in each direction. This is usually a two-week phase as well. And by this point, you've had over a month of neck work under your belt. Phase three, we're going to add a bit of weight. Starting on all fours, we're going to begin our directional neck work with the support of our hand. You'll get to the point where you're doing some isometric posts at the end of your reps and you'll even be taking your hands away. Leave a couple days rest in between each session. In fact, doing loaded neck work more than twice a week is pretty silly. So does this actually work? Yes. At 45 I can still do clockwork. What's clockwork? <laughs> And that's an extreme example, entirely unnecessary, but I think it serves the point. Hey, I know some of you guys want to help your buddy shave his back for the next big pose down. But for those of you that just want to get fit and strong at home, I'll see you soon. Ditch the gym, New Zealand.